they kind of feel like a bathing suit, but I, I swear they're shorts. Yeah, this is a crazy outfit. Like this is Thank wild you. that Thank you showed you. up in this, I'm not gonna lie. But it's almost like I wanna give you points for confidence. Cause like, you took a risk. Hey, I'm Meg. I make music. I have a song coming out on June 16th. I really like fashion. So I'm gonna pick my man based on his outfit today. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, we have, a, we have a selection here. First we have, are those Vans? They are, yeah. Okay, I like that, I like that. Then we have some sneakers. I think they're Nikes, I love green. Converse, I haven't seen Converse in a minute. I hate Converse, but you could be a really good person. Do you have any pets? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a cat. His name's Chan. You have a cat? Oh, okay, I feel like that redeems you a little. Okay. Oh, sick. And then we have some fancy dress shoes. Damn, I feel like you work in like a fancy job. I do. And then we have, honestly, I don't know what those are, but they look like they would match a lot of things, black and white. It's a vibe. Um, and then another black and white sneakers. Those are cool. I feel like the, one of those like running shoes, basketball shoes. They're think they're just like lifestyle shoes. Lifestyle shoes. All right, cool, cool. I don't hate any of them except the Converse, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I've decided, and I'm gonna get eaten alive for this in the comments because I know I know these shoes are cool now. But I'm so sorry, Converse. Aww. I love love that you have a cat. You seem so cool. Oh, look, that the rest so of the good. fits a vibe. That was so good. I'm Parker. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my god, yeah. I hate this. No, so I know you didn't like my Converse, but it was great to converse with you. Okay, that was quick. That was pretty quick. Great okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe so we can keep making fun dating content for you. Thanks, bye. Ooh. Hmm. This is this is getting interesting. First impression, I didn't expect this outfit with those shoes. I'm not gonna lie. Like I didn't expect those colors to go with white sneakers. Is that a corduroy shirt? It is, yeah. Love corduroy. It's like a light jacket almost. I also like your rings a lot. All right, moving down the line, green shoes. I'm also thrown off about what <laughs> is going on with like the colors. Uh -huh. um, I would love to say like you can just wear green shoes with anything, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm questioning this a little bit. Shiny shoes. Okay, that's this only outfit I, I expected because like what, what else are you gonna wear shiny shoes with besides like work pants or like are those jeans actually? No. Yeah, kinda. Those are like jeans? Like biker pants. I should have brought my glasses. I think those are, yeah, okay. I like this, I feel like this is safe. It's very safe. It's kind of dressy, I have questions. All right, next, those are really, really cool pants. Thank you so much. Those are really, really cool. Like, yeah, what, can, is there a story like? Um, I bought them for this shoot for you, actually. And uh, I was like, you know what? This is gonna be a high risk, high reward, and hopefully it, it pays off, so. Well, I like the clowns. I don't know what it says, but I like it. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a tattoo, like an arm that's like tattooed, where it's like not a full sleeve yet, but it's like ready to be one. Like, I feel like you could even add more. Love the pants, that's really cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right, flower shorts. Also socks. Socks. Was that, tell me about your method here. I okay. just feel like I need to know your method. It's just kind of been my thing, I guess. Like everyone comments on it and it's just my unique fashion choice, I you guess. You have a brand? It's, I guess it's my brand. Yeah, as far as brands go. For some reason, I really like that. Thank you. But the shorts, like are they, is it shorts? Is it a bathing suit? It's, it's they are shorts, yes. What shorts? Oh, they are shorts. Yeah, they're just shorts. They yeah. kind of look like a bathing suit, so it's throwing me off a little, I'm not gonna lie. They kind of feel like a bathing suit, but I, I swear they're shorts. Yeah, this is a crazy outfit. Like, this is Thank wild you. that Thank you showed you. up in this, I'm not gonna lie. But it's almost like I want to give you points for confidence, because, like, you took a risk. Hmm. I feel like we kind of skipped the first steps. Like, I would love to know your guys' names. My name's Evan. My name's Danny. Roman. 
My name's Lorenzo. Jacob. Okay, I got it. Maybe. I don't know. I might still call you guys by your shoes. I would love to know what you guys do for a living. So I work for a tech company in behavioral health primarily. So um, What is that? It's like a software company if you're a clinician and you want to run your own practice. And I uh, essentially, I, I, I help them with like insurance claims and stuff like that. All right. Green. I mean, don't wait. Danny. Yeah, there we go. I'm a behavioral technician for children with autism. Oh, that's cool, okay. Roman. Uh, I'm a computer engineer, but I do um, like cinematography on the side. Ooh, wait, that's really cool. All right, mm, Lorenzo? So I am the head of creative and marketing for an esports organization. Hmm. All right, Jacob, what about you? Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> I do, uh, I'm a research associate, so I do uh, scientific research on mRNA therapeutics and- uh, On, sorry, on what? mRNA, mRNA therapeutics, uh, messenger RNA. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna pretend I know what that is. For sure, yeah. It's like, it basically, it's half of your DNA and uh, you inject it in the body and then it can replicate that for your cells and then it can treat vaccinations or, you know. Oh, uh, right, Specific okay. therapeutics for, yeah, whatever purpose. Okay, wow, that is cool. That is really different than everybody else, so. Yeah, nice. Uh, so, Megan, I am gonna have you eliminate two guys. Shut up. Two guys. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. I do have to eliminate Evan because you have the same name as my last ex, and that freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a fair reason. Yeah, we'll it was it. nothing. Nothing. You not your answers, but that just threw me. It'd be weird. I don't think I could do that two, two in a row. Yeah. Uh, nope. Hey. Hey, what's up? Oh, see I the white, now fit. I get it. Now Looks I get it, good. the white t-shirt yeah. with the white shoes. Yeah, your, your shirt matches your eyes. It's really cool. Thanks, yeah, <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right, and the second person I'm gonna eliminate Danny, I just, the, the strings on the shirt, it could be a really cool shirt, but it's throwing me. Not the strings. There's only room for like one witch in this in this house, Man. I'm sorry. All right. Meg, Meg, Meg. I am so I sorry to we had a connection. Too, but, Man. you know, had to be done, had to be I done. I thought we had a connection. <laughs> oh, I feel so mean. Okay. You're doing great. <laughs> That was a shock, okay. Whoa, this is crazy. I wouldn't have expected any of this and I like it all. Okay, this is hard. <sighs> Wait, I actually have a question for Jacob. Yes. Jacob, yeah. What, explain a little bit about your outfit. Just in general, actually, just like, what was the choice? Why that shirt? My mother got this for me for Christmas, so. Um, sweet. I gotta get a shout out to her. Um, I don't know, I love, um, I don't, I'm not very fashionable, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I go into the lab and I wear sweatpants and a sweatshirt, so. Um, but I really love just like, vibrant patterns and, uh, you know, colorful when I can. So, um, yeah, I think I just, I, I really like this shirt and I wanted to, I love floral patterns as well and, you know, who doesn't like butterflies, I guess, so. Yeah, I mean, who, I like butterflies. I'm, I'm just, I'm confused but because I like it and I'm like, why? Like, that doesn't go, but I kind of like it. Hold up. Lorenzo? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I mean, I like the black shirt with the sweatpants. I feel like everything goes well. I love jewelry. I love to see that. I like the rings too. Um, that's a big watch. That's fancy. It's just like a big fancy watch. Um, Roman, that's pretty solid too. You guys are like all from different decades a little bit, it seems like, which is cool. Um, Roman, are you like inspired by a certain like decade or like an era of fashion? Cause I feel like this is like a little old fashioned. Yes, kind of like 60s, 70s, but late 60s. Mm, like I see it. once upon a time in Hollywood. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the jacket, I'm not gonna lie, but the outfit, it, fashion speaking, I feel like it's pretty perfect. Like there's not like crazy risks, but it's just like, I don't see any like mistakes. Hmm. 
That's nice. Where would you take me on a first date, if you could pick one place? First date, I would take you to my spot, because my dad's a cook. His pizza is amazing. If you like, like ravioli, we'll have some ravioli as well. My dad's Italian, and he makes some really good Italian food, so I don't usually go to Italian restaurants, because I just don't think it measures up, but... Well, I can say the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's Italian too? Yep. <laughs> All right, Lorenzo, where would you take me on a first date? I think someone like you, we have to go somewhere chill, somewhere we can vibe and just get to know each other more. It feels like you are like, you're really good with your words, like you're very like descriptive. So I feel like putting you outside of your traditional date night would be like going to like a arcade, like Dave and Buster's and just like, I just like to match each other's energy. And I think that would be like a great way to kind of like knock down the walls first. I love games. I do love games. Okay, what about you, Jacob? Uh, July 21st, the Barbie movie. Um, I think, I'm really excited to see that. Oh, the Barbie movie? Yeah, so it, I'd love to see that. And then there's a park down in San Diego, it's called Kate Sessions. Um, it overlooks the water, overlooks downtown. Um, it's like, it's beautiful. So um, we can just have like a chill picnic and talk about what we thought about um, Marco Robbie's performance. Do you guys know anything about love language? Yes. Really? Should we just go down the line and say like what you think your love language is, like how you receive it? Physical touch, definitely. Mm. Okay. I would say words of affirmation and uh, quality time. I, I think one of my pet peeves, I don't really have many, but like when someone's on their phone, like if you're on a date or like you're hanging out with friends, like someone that's on their phone, I like, I want you to, to like be focused on me and I want to be focused on you. I like that, I like that. Okay, what about you, Jacob? So this is kind of the nerd in me, but the, the whole premise behind love languages, it's uh, the guy that invented it, he's kind of a pseudoscientist, so I have to, I have to put that out there. <laughs> okay. But if I had to pick my love language, it would definitely be uh, like quality time. Um, I love maximizing, the, again, I'm a, I'm a relationship guy, so I love maximizing the time I can spend with my significant other. That is a good answer. I feel like that is, was more of what I was looking for. <sighs> okay, I think I have enough. I think I have enough to, for the next elimination. The first person, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna have to eliminate. I liked every single one of your answers was so, I feel like was really compatible with me, except for the very last question about love language. So I am gonna have to eliminate Roman. Sorry, I'm just not like a physical touch person. Hi. Hey. <laughs> well, you're so beautiful. sorry about that. That's okay. You have yeah, great yeah. hair. Thank you, wow, you too. Wow, the volume, that's insane. <laughs> it's okay though. All right, senorita, I must go. Bye. That was so fancy. Honestly, I'm surprised I'm top three because the other dudes, the other dudes. But yeah, um, I'm really glad that's all I wanted, to be honest. I decided to like choose someone kind of based on their outfit. So it's like one of those outfits is crazy, but I kind of liked some of the answers more, but then it's also really hard because, Lorenzo, your outfit is so good and all your answers were good. Go. Okay, you know what, I got it. I'm gonna go for something crazy. Okay, I'm gonna eliminate, um, I hate this. I'm gonna eliminate Lorenzo. <laughs> I don't know, man, like I, it's okay. I'm 27, so my mom is like, you know, you gotta find a wife and gotta get married and kids. And so this is like a really cool way to uh, keep practicing that and figure out, you know, who I like and who I don't like. And yeah, it's a really cool experience. Your outfit's sick, though. Thank you. I like it. I like it. Thank you so much. Nice yeah, no, you. great outfit. Thank you. Great outfit. Thank you. All right. I feel good. I mean, I, I feel a little like, what the f or what did I just do? Because like, I definitely picked the craziest outfit. Like, <laughs> what is this? But. It's like, why do I like it? Like, it makes no sense, but I like it. Hey. How's it going? Oh my God, what the? This is so crazy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, I hear it's a sin to like, uh, go with like patterns and patterns. Okay. But I'm like, let's just go for it. It is kind of a sin. Yeah. Your eyes are super blue. Thank you. Yeah, I got both of my parents, their eyes are blue, so. Gotta That's thank them cool. for that. <laughs> She's very cute. Um, I didn't even, I should have said that right when I walked out, but I didn't, um, very awkward. I, I just wanna know more about him now. Maybe we'll go on a second date and see. And would you even wanna see the Barbie movie? Like, be honest, would that just be something you do because like you think that I would like the Barbie movie? I kinda do wanna see the Barbie movie, <laughs> but like, <laughs> it's more of like, 
a thing we could both talk about. Cause like, I like to pair um, movie dates with either dinner before or after. That makes sense. But we can do picnic, that's fine. All right, maybe, maybe, maybe we start with the picnic. We start with the picnic, Okay. for sure.